Hey, hey, what's going on? It's Carlos Aponte Jr. here, and thank you for plugging into this uh, cryptocurrency how to training. Make sure you grab a pad and a pen and take down some notes. Do not leave your fortune to your memory. I'm going to make sure that this is informative. It's going to be a lot of uh, good, you know, information I'm going to be sharing with each and every one of you. So make sure that you uh, take advantage of this. My goal with this uh, particular training is to get you involved in the cryptocurrency space um, and be one of the first ones to, to educate you within this space. Um, it's changing a lot of people's lives. It's, it's amazing. I put together a cool little uh, presentation for you. And then after the presentation is completed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, share you uh, share with you some different resources and, and some websites and some links that you can use to further your education when it comes to cryptocurrency. All right. So sit back, relax. Let's go ahead and I'm going to begin. I'm going to shut down the camera and I'm going to just go ahead and start sharing my presentation. Mm -hmm. Cryptocurrency how to the modern day gold rush. Mm -hmm. So you guys know what's happening with cryptocurrency. It is exploding worldwide. So what is cryptocurrency? For those of you who don't know, you guys are brand new. It's the new currency. And here's a definition that I grabbed um, from Wikipedia. You guys could uh, search for cryptocurrency. What I searched for was what is cryptocurrency? It's a digital currency in which encryption techniques are used to regulate the generation of units of currency and verify the transfer of funds operating independently from the central bank. So it's the new currency, all right? So just like a dollar, uh, cryptocurrency is digital money that you can use to purchase things, you can use for transactions, and you can use it around the globe. Now, let me take you a step back so that you could find out why I got so excited about cryptocurrency and why so many people around the world are jumping on this bandwagon of cryptocurrency. We was taught and trained for years to put our money in a bank, right? And uh, you see this guy right here, uh, this banker out of Wall Street uh, crying. This was the financial crisis of 2008, which a lot of you are aware of this. So I grew up um, just like uh, many of you on the, on the phone. Um, I was taught by my parents to um, get paid, you know, go to work, get paid and, and put my money in the bank. And that was what I was taught to do. That's what most people were taught to do. And the banking systems failed us. This is a house of cards, right? A house of cards. This is what happened in 2008. Everything came tumbling down from subprime mortgages to mortgage companies, the lenders, the builders, the markets, the U.S. economy, then the world economy. Everything came tumbling down down. I remember when I first uh, bought a, a place um, in uh, Fort Lauderdale. I bought it back in 2005, paid 200 grand for a two-bedroom condo, and um, it, it crashed on us. And, and <laughs> about a year later, those condos were selling for, I don't know, $30,000, and I paid $200,000. And I know a lot of you know these types of stories. Now, a lesson learned for me one lesson that I learned is that do not follow uh, what most people are doing. When most people are doing it, um, it go the opposite direction. And when I got involved in real estate, most people were purchasing real estate that had no experience. And I saw all of these people, regular people, uh, regular jobs, buying these big homes and cashing out and taking out all its money. And I just couldn't believe it. So I tried to get involved and I caught the tail end of it and boom, everything came collapsing. And a lot of people fell under that same, same thing. Uh, we weren't taught, we weren't trained, we weren't educated on that whole entire process. Now here's the global financial crisis. Here you see the dollar bill. Oh my God, what's going on right, with the dollar bill? Now, here's just some bullet points. The global financial crisis of 2008 was the worst of its kind since the Great Depression. This is serious. It began with failures of the large financial institutions in the United States. 
and then it catapults it worldwide. But here's just a handful of some of these banks, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, Lehman Brothers, Merrill Lynch, Deutsche Bank. This is just naming a few. This rapidly evolved into a global crisis resulting in a number of Europe European banks also failing. Now, here's where it gets really crazy, guys, that we bailed these people out. So uh, Lehman Brothers went under, one of the biggest banks in the world, that went under. But Deutsche Bank, I mean, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, and Merrill Lynch, a lot of these banks were bailed out. And they didn't give us any return on investment. They didn't increase the amount of interest that we make on our savings account, right? As a matter of fact, if you got money in the bank, you're losing your money every single year because of inflation. Your money is going backwards while all of the banks, you know, CEOs and the corporate execs are making a fortune, making a fortune. And this is not allowing people to live the American dream or, the, or, or achieve financial freedom. But there is a better way. Now, here's what happened. Right along the same exact time, right? If you look at the slide right now, this is the crisis of 2008. Right along, um, about a year later, uh, a gentleman or a group of people, right? It's an alias by the name of Satoshi Nakamoto in 2009, right? He published the first decentralized major cryptocurrency of worldwide value called Bitcoin. Its creation was not thinking of money. It was more about the idea of making a transaction without the aid of a middleman, without needing to use a bank. So how could we send a, a transaction from point A to point B without those banking fees, without the money grant fees, without the Western Union fees, without those PayPal fees? And how could we do it in a way that's uh, trusted by both parties, nobody gets hurt, and people receive their funds immediately? This was the initial goal back in 2008. And he came out, or the group of people, these, these people that came out with uh, Bitcoin, came out with a vengeance to fix and refine what was going on in the financial world. Now, why do you think that they did it uh, anonymously? I want you to think about this, guys, because this is one of the things that I love about cryptocurrencies and I love about Bitcoin in particular. It's that it's traded and it's out there anonymously and everybody can use it and nobody knows exactly who put this thing together. Can you imagine if the world government found out who Satoshi Nakamoto is? <laughs> They'll probably kill him, right? Because he's disrupted what's what was going on in the financial market and he proved the point that it is simple it's inexpensive then pe people don't need to be in poverty anymore with um this whole decentralized marketplace it's a game changer right so we were taught to put our money in the banks this guy came out and showed people that you can do this anonymously, you can do this inexpensively, you can do this right away. Have you ever tried sending a money grant to somebody? It's going to cost you at least 5%. They're going to need uh, identification. If they're in another country, they're going to need all kind of, they're going to be scrutinized uh, left and right before they can take out that money and you paid a fortune. How about PayPal? I had to send a PayPal payment to one of our companies or clients that we use out in France. And it was $17,000 order and I ended up paying um, an extra $2,000, I think, in fees. It was crazy, ridiculous, and that was through PayPal. So with digital currencies, it eliminates all of that. It's pennies, very inexpensive, and at top speed, it is just awesome. Now, why 100% anonymous? Well, I mentioned one thing, right? If they don't know who created the Bitcoin and that blockchain, um, no governments will ever get this guy or that group of people, which is pretty cool. But here's um, a great quote. A leader is best when people barely know he exists. When his work is done, his aim fulfilled, they will say, we did it ourselves. And that's what's really cool about um Bitcoin. Now, the disruptor's advantage, a culture of empowerment, shaking things up, right? So one of the cool things about shaking things up is that when businesses come in and they disrupt things, uh, I mean, they become uh, 
they create this whole movement. I mean, look what happened with Amazon. I didn't put Amazon on this slide because you guys know exactly what they did, but they disrupted the whole entire retail model. Boom, disrupted that. Now they're disrupting the whole logistic uh, business. I mean, they're delivering things in, in a few hours. It's, it's amazing what Amazon has done, but they are a disrupting company. So let's talk about disrupting companies because it's, it's, it's going to bring a point here. Um, in the beginning, uh, when these companies first started, um, most people were down on them. They, they didn't understand what was going to happen. And, and the same is true right now with, uh, with Bitcoin. But look at a company here, Uber. They disrupted the taxi cab industry. A few years ago, they came out, they said, hey, you know what? Let's give the money back to the people. Let's let people drive their cars. Let's let people drive and make money on their time. They created a company called Uber. Cities try to stop them. Countries try to stop them because they disrupted a big industry. And they are here right now to stay. Everybody's taking an Uber. Why not? Why get in the dirty, stinky yellow cab when you can drive in this really cool car of your choice, right? And save money in the process and really get to know the people, which is pretty cool. That's Uber. Airbnb, another disrupting company, they came out, they disrupted the whole entire hotel and hospitality industry, and they said, hey, you know what, people are struggling right now, they came out around that same time during the financial crisis, so Airbnb comes out and they say, you know what, let's, let's figure out a way that we could help people stay in their homes, help people rent out a room in their place so they don't have to lose it. We could allow even college students to make some money as well by renting out one of their rooms. Airbnb was created and what a great concept it was. They gave money back to the people. They allowed people to go on vacation and stay at home and save some funds there and get to meet people from that area, which is awesome. Airbnb disrupting company. Uh, Bitcoin, let's move on to Bitcoin. They disrupted the whole entire financial industry and also cryptocurrency as a whole is disrupting the financial industry. Right? If you would have bought $100 worth of Bitcoin seven years ago, you'll be sitting on $75 million today. Think about that. Everybody had a hundred bucks. Most of you guys on this webinar and gals on this webinar, you guys had a hundred bucks seven years ago and could get it. But if, if you would have known, right? If only if we all would have known we would have invested a hundred dollars in Bitcoin seven years ago, that will be worth over seventy-five million dollars today. Pretty awesome, pretty amazing. But the best part is that you know about it now. You know about it now. And I, I'm going to share some of the stuff that I've done, but I've been able to clean up shop uh, with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. And I will show you exactly what I've done and, and, and how, I, how I did it. And, and I did it in a short amount of time, which is, brings me another point is that you can get started right now in cryptocurrencies and become financially independent. You can pay down your debt. You can pay off your mortgage. You can help so many people. We can teach and train and show people how to get out of poverty with a cryptocurrency. So back in December, um, uh, the first week of December, I got started with cryptocurrencies. I got in on Bitcoin. I think it was like at 900 bucks. I got in, I bought some uh, some Bitcoin, and then I started trading on the open marketplace. I used Bitcoin to purchase some other currencies. And I made some money from Bitcoin, but here where, here's where it gets really cool and, and really interesting. I purchased 300 coins of Ethereum, which is another cryptocurrency, the second largest cryptocurrency in the marketplace. I paid $7 a piece. I paid uh, $2,100 worth of Bitcoin to purchase 300 Ethereums. This was the first or second week of December. And I've grown that $2,100 to over $40,000. And I did that in about 90 days. Think about that. $2,100 in Bitcoin turned into over $40,000 portfolio in Ethereum. And I was able to do that just by purchasing it and holding it. And guys, this is the power. A lot of people are getting rich right now with cryptocurrencies. And that is why I am all in 100% with crypto. And I want to make sure that I give back because somebody 
shared this information with me. I went out and I started educating myself. I learned, I scored, I helped a lot of people, I helped my family. Now I want to go out there and I want to help other people get involved in the cryptocurrency market space. And what I hope that after this particular webinar, after you watch this webinar or you watch in a video uh, later on, that after you, you complete the, the webinar training, you get involved in cryptocurrencies. You set up your own wallet. You start purchasing different cryptocurrencies. Guys, you are going to be blown away at your results. Now, here's a quote. I think I created the quote, but not sure if I did or not. All right? um, I don't want to take credit for it if I didn't, but I always say this. Most people are down on what they are not up on. All right? The United States government, they're scaring people. They're saying, hey, Bitcoin and all those cryptocurrencies, they're not going to be around. Scam this, scam that. Matter of fact, uh, Bitcoin are used to purchase drugs. Bitcoins are used uh, for all kind of illegal activities. Here's, here's the fact. The number one currency in the world that's used for illegal activity is the dollar bill. That's a fact. The number one currency in the world that's used for wars, or the only one probably, it's the dollar bill, <laughs> okay? So don't buy into that nonsense. Educate yourself. Here's a quote. Don't let fear of the unknown keep you from changing what you know does not work. Your current financial situation might not be working right now because you are not taking action with something that is working right now, right? And it's okay. It's because you don't know, right? Do you must learn how to do uncomfortable things until they become comfortable. And one of these uncomfortable things will be learning about cryptocurrencies, taking your hard earned money, putting it in a wallet, purchasing Bitcoin or another different cryptocurrency. In the beginning, that's going to be a little nerve wracking, right? But this is because this is new, new, but don't be alarmed. Don't be afraid. I'm telling you, that your whole life will change if you learn it, apply it, take action with it, and move forward, right? Everybody's always afraid of, of things they are unsure of or unknown, you know, going into the unknown areas. But don't let that stop you from going out there and educating yourself. Now, companies that have invested in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, if these companies are doing it, so should you. American Express, Visa, MasterCard, USAA, Capital One, Microsoft, Google, PayPal, MoneyGram. I'm just naming a few of the companies that are taking advantage of this whole entire cryptocurrency marketplace. If they're taking advantage of this and dumping millions upon millions of dollars within this space because they want to capitalize, you should too. Bitcoin and cryptocurrency wallets. Write this stuff down after this webinar is over, after you finish watching this video. I want you to set up a Bitcoin wallet, a cryptocurrency wallet, if you haven't done so already. What I listed here on this slide are cryptocurrency wallets that I know, cryptocurrency wallets that I trust, cryptocurrency wallets that are around and working so that you know you do not need to risk. Um, losing your cryptocurrencies. Now, blockchain, one of the biggest ones, you can check them out, blockchain.info, do your research, do your due diligence, learn as much as you can about this. Now, just to, to mention one thing, because if you're brand new to cryptocurrency, you might not know what this wallet is. I want to uh, you to think about this. A cryptocurrency wallet, it's like your bank account. So if you're here in the United States and you got a bank account, you use Chase, you use Citibank, uh, PNC, that's your bank, right? You get paid, you put money in your bank. A cryptocurrency uh, wallet, it's your bank. It holds your cryptocurrencies, just like your regular bank holds your 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 money, right? Your dollar uh, bills or your euros or whatever that is that you're using in your country. So blockchain.info, great wallet uh, for, for Bitcoin, uh, one of the big ones that are out there. People are using it all around the globe. Coinbase, it's a U.S.-based uh, company. They're growing really fast. They're doing a lot of things. They also caught the eye of the United States government. Um, 
because they were growing so fast and, and moving so, so much volume in, in three different currencies that you can purchase there. So Coinbase.com, uh, you can go there and check them out. I use Coinbase to purchase Bitcoin. I use Coinbase to purchase Litecoin. And I use uh, Coinbase to purchase Ethereum. All right. Coinbase.com, great wallet, um, United States based, and they also sell three different currencies. So you can go there and purchase Ethereum, uh, Litecoin, or Bitcoin. A new one on the, on the map here is called Jax. Jax is a multi-currency wallet. I started testing out this wallet. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty neat. If you got to, um, you know, all of these wallets, you got to put them on your smartphones. But Jax, the cool thing about Jax is that it holds multiple different currencies. It holds Dash, Bitcoin, um, Ethereum. You can switch within uh, cryptocurrencies, and then you can use your wallet to make purchases and make payments. LocalBitcoin.com is a great place to um, uh, purchase Bitcoin and also sell Bitcoin, which is uh, pretty cool. But these are some of the wallets. Now, the wallets that are international that have a Visa card, attached to them. The reason why these wallets are cool is because you can have a Bitcoin, for instance, on your wallet and you could instantly transfer it to your Visa card and you can use that Visa card to uh, pull out cash, uh, pull out currency from any ATM machine. You can use it to uh, purchase things. You can use it to pay bills, which is pretty awesome. I use BitPay, BitPay bitpay.com. Is the one that I use. Um, they have a, a Visa a Visa card attached to it, which is awesome. A Zappo, a great international card. If you are outside of the United States, Zappo is rocking. They also have a Visa card attached to it. So these two, BitPay and Zappo, are the wallets that have uh, Visa cards attached to them that allow you to withdraw, pay, and take your money. You know, use your money whenever you need to. All right. Now, Ledger Nano S. I just got a Ledger Nano S and I set it all up. A Ledger Nano S is what we call a cold storage vault. It allows you to save or keep your cryptocurrencies on your person. You can put this in a safe. So unlike these other wallets that are on your smartphone and on the Internet, I mean, God forbid, anything could be hacked, right? Online, the Ledger Nano cannot be hacked because you have it. You own it. You control it. Everything is on there. So if you have a big portfolio over $10,000 you know, or more, I would suggest that you pick up a Ledger, uh, a Ledger Nano S and you put your, your cryptocurrencies on there. And that's what I do. I, I do a lot of trading and purchasing of on on different uh, exchanges. But when I get to a certain amount, I transfer it over to my Ledger Nano and I put that in my safe, okay? So you wanna make sure that you have a Ledger Nano S, which is a hard cryptocurrency wallet. And you can learn more about it by going to ledgerwalletusa.com. Ledgerwalletusa.com. Now, this company, they out in Paris, and they are in such high demand right now. They've been speaking all around the world what they did here with the Legend, uh, Legend Nano. And um, they're helping so many people protect their cryptocurrencies, which is awesome. But they are on a backlog. So if you want to order one, you can pre-order one now. And I believe they're going to be shipping out on the third week of um the third week of June. Okay. So it's definitely worth uh, ordering one and, and waiting for it. I know they're giving away free shipping and it's pretty simple to set up. They got video tutorials, everything right there. Ledger Nano. So after this is over, set up a wallet for yourself. You can shop with Bitcoins on these stores and businesses uh, tesla you can buy a car with bitcoin overstock i love overstock i shop all the time with bitcoin on overstock uh, microsoft windows office any one of the microsoft uh, companies you can purchase uh, programs and software and video games with uh, bitcoin you can purchase airline tickets expedia um, go to expedia.com you can check out with uh, bitcoin a uh, virgin airlines also virgin mobile you can check out with Bitcoin. 
uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Um, there's a lot of uh, franchisees already that already incorporated the payment system for Bitcoin, which is uh, pretty cool. You can check out in, in certain uh, restaurants with uh, Bitcoin. Subway, also a big one, uh, Bitcoin accepted here. If you see that sign on any window, that means they're accepting Bitcoin. And it's pretty easy to use. Once you have your Bitcoin wallet on your phone, all you got to do is um, purchase whatever you want to purchase and scan your phone. That's it. You just scan the barcode from your phone and, and it's done in seconds. Starbucks, same. Uh, they put together the infrastructure to uh, accept uh, cryptocurrencies. All of these other companies, you can see them right here. Also, Disney World, um, they're putting together an entire cryptocurrency network that would allow you to um, purchase for tickets, uh, buy food, stay in hotels, do it all um, with uh, cryptocurrencies. And they're taking it a step further. They're creating their own cryptocurrency as well. To learn a little bit more about that, um, you can search or research Dragon Chain. Dragon Chain is the Disney World uh, cryptocurrency and blockchain space. Those guys are ahead of the curve. And um, what they're doing is, is pretty amazing. Pay your bills. Uh, with with uh, Bitcoin, if you have a Zapple wallet or a Visa, you know, a uh, Bitcoin wallet with a Visa like a Zapple or with BitPay like I use, you can go ahead and make payments and and pay your bills, you know, with joy, uh, with with your wallet. And and let me tell you why it's so cool. I pay my mortgage for my condo uh, in Fort Lauderdale. Um, with um, my Bitcoin wallet, I pay for my BMWs with my what. Bitcoin wallet. Here's where it gets really cool. Let's say that you have a um, thousand dollars in your Bitcoin wallet right, today. Bitcoin now you, your mortgage is going to be. Let's say your mortgage is thirteen hundred dollars, right, and it's going to be due in two weeks. You got a thousand dollars in your wallet right now. Do you know in two weeks that thousand dollars might grow to fourteen hundred, fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred? We've seen it in the last thirty days. I mean, you can see. It what's happened with Bitcoin and how much it's grown. So when people are using dollars to pay for bills, I mean, they're using their dollars and their hard, you know, earned dollar bills to pay for their bills, again, the money is depreciating in value. It's not growing in value. When I'm paying with Bitcoin, I'm paying my bills with Bitcoin. And the reason why I'm doing that is because my Bitcoins are increasing in value. So that $1,000 grows to $1,400. Then you can pay your $1,400 mortgage, for an example, right? Or your or your car or your light, whatever it is, and and now you're making money and you're you know on your bitcoins and you're saving everything is less, so you get to pay all your bills in style and and enjoy it, which is pretty neat. Now buy cryptocurrencies online and offline. Here's where you can start purchasing a crypto for the first time. Uh, Coinbase, I touched on that. Local Bitcoins. Local Bitcoins allow you to connect with local businesses, local business sellers of, of Bitcoin, and you can connect with somebody in your own area. Go to that website and you can research and, and find somebody close to you, and you can probably meet them in person and pick up some Bitcoin from them. You could also Google local ATM, Bitcoin ATMs near you. So Google local Bitcoin ATMs and you will get a whole list or a map of uh, ATM machines that are, that are Bitcoin ATMs in your area. And all you got to do is go into those ATM machines and just put cash in and it spits out a, a receipt. Or you scan the barcode on your smartphone and you have the, the Bitcoins or the other currencies in your wallet immediately. immediately. Uh, Polinex.com uh, is an exchange, an exchange that I use. It's awesome. And um, I've been doing a lot of trading there. You could also buy uh, Bitcoin. Uh, Coin Mama, I know some of my friends, they use Coin Mama in other countries and they're having great results with that. Uh, Sex.io, uh, another great company that you can use to purchase, uh, you know, Bitcoin. All right. <clears throat> now, cryptocurrency trading, what is it? All right. This is how I made my money trading Bitcoins and trading other cryptocurrencies. I want to make sure I show you guys how to do this. It's going to be fun. You guys are going to enjoy it. You don't need to be a rocket science scientist to do it. So cryptocurrency trading is just like trading stocks or you know trading different uh, uh, in the forex market. It's to exchange a cryptocurrency for another or to sell it to a different exchange. So you buy low and you sell high. Pretty simple, guys. For example, 
If you're trading on Polonex, I'm going to teach you a secret. This is one that I did. If you're on Polonex, you can purchase one Bitcoin on Polonex, let's say, and hold it. When the price goes up, then you go to Coinbase, and you will notice that Coinbase might have the price $200 more than what you bought it for. All you got to do is transfer it from Polonex to your Coinbase account, and then sell it on Coinbase and you make the spread instantly. $200, boom, just like that. All right, for an example, all right? That's trading, all right? That's called arbitrage. And and you can, you know, I'm gonna be make, uh, teaching people step-by-step -step how to do those type of things, all right? Which is pretty cool. So I just gave you a little hint. And the purpose of this, uh, this webinar and this training right now is to show you and get you engaged uh, really not to go into the details of how to do certain things, but just to get the ball rolling because most people that are going to be, that are on the webinar, most people that are watching the webinar in the future are brand new. They haven't done none of this stuff before. All right. So I just want to just uh, get you started in it. All right. So cryptocurrency trading is to exchange cryptocurrency for another, to sell it to a different exchange, recognizing market trends, when to keep it safe and when to use it to generate the benefits. So basically when to uh, hold it and when to sell it, buy cryptocurrencies when the price is the lowest, then sell it to, you know, at a higher price. Simple. The cool thing about trading uh, on the market is that it's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's why you see the price of Bitcoin always going up, down, up, down, up, down, and it's traded daily, right? And it's it's seven days a week, and you can make money when it's up, you can make money when it's down. It's pretty awesome, but it's it's growing steadily. They're saying that one Bitcoin could be, I mean, worth a million dollars in ten years. I mean, it's it's crazy what they're saying, but it's but it's cool. So go to polinex dot com and you know go ahead and set up an account, absolutely free. You know, to, to set up a Bitcoin wallet and a cryptocurrency wallet, absolutely free. To set up a trading account, absolutely free. One of the cool things about trading is that you could open up an account right now. Right now. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a good trade right now. You go in there and you put $25, 25 bucks, and you buy a currency called Ripple, which is the third largest cryptocurrency, Ripple, R-I-P-P-L-E. I think right now it's trading at about 20 cents. So for $25, you can get yourself a pretty penny. Hold on to it. If it goes to a dollar, you made yourself uh, 20, 30 times more than what you put in, which is uh, pretty amazing. That's what I love about cryptocurrencies, that you can get in on it so low. Everybody can get in on it. Even poor people can get in on it. Don't matter. If you have a lot of money, don't have a lot of money. You can be in this game. It's, it's what I believe will change or end poverty is cryptocurrencies because it's so affordable right now and so new. Another thing that we're going to be talking about or I'm going to be talking about in the future is called ICOs, initial coin offerings. I believe that initial coin offerings, uh, just like um, back in the days when IPOs came out, for those of you who know the stock market, remember during the, the, tech, the tech bubble, uh, new companies will come out and um, people made a fortune because they bought the stock the same day it came out. There's something called ICOs, which is an initial coin offering. And that's the future. And I believe people will get rich with initial coin offering. So that's just my opinion, my opinion. But I've been in on some and made, made some good money on some, which is pretty cool. And I just got in one yesterday, the first digital bank in the world. Imagine that, right? A bank from Switzerland that's going to be the first digital currency bank in the world doing loans, mortgages, everything. And I got in on that ICO. I got in on it yesterday, and um, they're going to be uh, going into their second phase, and they expect to open in two years. So. You could put a few dollars in, and in two years, it could be worth thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars, which is pretty cool. That's ICOs, and there's some other ones coming out. So people that work with me, people that are part of my team, people that are my students will be getting insights on the ICOs that I'm in. I, I'm only going to teach, train, and show people to do the things that I'm doing. If I'm not in it, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to be teaching it. All right, so cryptocurrency trading. Now, Bitcoin mining, 
Another way that I make money every single day like clockwork is Bitcoin mining. All right. When somebody sends a transaction, a cryptocurrency transaction from point A to point B, in the middle there, there's a miner. You see the guy right here? This is the miner with all of those uh, that hardware. Those computer systems make sure that that transaction was a legitimate transaction. Those, transa those computer systems are what verify those transactions and make those transactions um, get transferred to the, to the next party. So cryptocurrency mining, it's um, when you have all of this equipment and you make money on it every single day, right? Because you're the one that's uh, monitoring all of the transactions that are taking place. Not you, but the computer systems. Here's what's cool, that I got involved in cryptocurrency mining with a company called Genesis Mining. Now, I'm not talking about some MLM deal. I'm not talking about some home business deal. Genesis Mining is the largest cloud mining corporation in the world. Okay, they're, they're huge, huge. You can do your research on them. If you want to learn more about cryptocurrency mining, uh, write down the website that you see on the top there, coindesk.com forward slash information forward slash how to or how dash Bitcoin dash mining dash works. I'll show you another way to get in there after this is done. All right, but Genesis Mining, get involved in it. Guys, I am mining Ethereum. I am mining Dash. I am mining uh, Bitcoin. And every single day, I get a few dollars um, in those currencies directly into my, my uh, wallet, directly. Every single day, like clockwork, boom, 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 every single day. So you want to make sure that you're also doing mining for different currencies. Now, Genesis Mining, uh, go to startminingcrypto.com. So go to startminingcrypto.com. And if you want a discount code, I have a discount code that will give you 3% off your mining um, cost. And it's, it's awesome. The moment you start, you start receiving payments right away. And again, this is the real deal, cloud mining. So you don't need to have any computer equipment. And you can mine uh, Ethereum, Dash, Litecoin, uh, Bitcoin. The list goes on and on and on. But go to startminingcrypto.com. And what I want you to do, if you want that discount code, I want you to send me a private message on Facebook. Um, my, my Facebook is facebook.com forward slash Carlos Aponte Jr. Go ahead and send me a private message and say, Carlos, I want that uh, Genesis Mining 3% discount code, and I will give you that special code so that you can start mining right away. And once you set up your account, you set it and forget it, and you get paid every single day. Pretty cool. Now, a new training. Now, this all, it's new. So education is key. In order for you to win in any business, you need to educate yourself. You need to become an expert. You need to increase your value in the marketplace. The way you increase your value in the marketplace is by plugging into trainings like this, going to live seminars, plugging into our private Facebook group, plugging into our chats, and also studying you know, the new training courses and reading on the new books and, and things that come out. So there's a brand new training course that came out. And uh, it's going to be fully released on the 21st of June. But here's just a list of some of the things that you'll be able to learn. And it's so affordable, so affordable. We're talking about $500 a year. That's it. So $500 for the year, and you're going to get daily trainings, daily videos. You're going to learn everything that you need to know about cryptocurrency trading, mining, and the list goes on and on and on. But here's just uh, some of the things on the screen that you can see that you're going to be learning from this university. All right. So if you want details on this, if you want details on this and somebody else referred you to this particular webinar, make sure you get back to them and say, hey, I want in on that new training that's coming out on June 21st. You can get in on it today, though, but make sure you get back to the person who, who got you on this webinar. If I'm the person that got you on this webinar, then as soon as this webinar is over, you're going to be automatically redirected to a page where you can take an inside look at this training. Absolutely free. You can go ahead and get redirected and set that up absolutely free. 
Or you can send me a private message as well on Facebook and say, hey, Carlos, I want to plug in with you. I, I want to learn everything that there is to, to know about cryptocurrencies. I want to learn about the ICOs. I want to work with you. And guys, what I'm going to do is for every person who teams up with me, I'm going to make sure that I help you get on, um, learn all about the ICOs. I'm going to let you know all about our private trainings. You're going to be part of my private Facebook group, which is limited. It's only a handful of people because I, I spend my money, time, and energy into making sure people win. I don't need a lot of people to, to help, right? We want to help a, a good handful of people. So if you want, if you want to be a part of that, if you want pre, free access to my Facebook group, free access to my private chat for our students, it's all free. All you got to do is team up with me. Send me a private message on Facebook, and I'll make sure you get access to all of that stuff. Or get back to the person who referred you to this training, to this video, to this webinar, and they will give you access to all of that stuff. Now, cryptocurrency education and resources. I'm going to go ahead and log off of this and show you a couple of resources and some websites. I'm going to share the screen with you so that you could um, – you'll know exactly where to go to get, you know, the resources that you need, right? Help, assistance, support, advice, guidance, tips. All of my partners are always going to get this. You're going to get free training. You're going to get access to my private Facebook group, my private chat, and so much more. I want to make sure that I increase and teach you how to increase your, your value in the marketplace when it comes to the cryptocurrency space. This is brand new. Brand new, guys. There's so much money to be made here. Your whole life will change overnight. This is the modern day gold rush. So let me go ahead and share my screen with you. Um, hold on one second. Stop the slide. Yes. Okay, I'm going to start sharing my screen. Okay. Now, what you're looking at right now on the screen is one of my favorite resources. It's awesome. It's absolutely free. Make sure you take advantage of it. Coindesk.com. Coindesk.com. Subscribe to them. Anything that you want to learn, you can learn it right here. Uh, you can search right here in the search box. If you want to learn about mining, if you want to learn about trading, uh, if you want to see a research on ICOs, companies that are coming out, you can research them here. All right. So here you see all of these great articles. So I wake up every morning and I start reading this stuff. I right? see what's going on, right? Look at banks of Russia, Ethereum developers, you know, everything that's happening, Bitcoin miners, you know, the IRS, you know, everything that you want to know about cryptocurrency, you can find it right here in Coindesk. Not everything, but most of the stuff, and this is like the news, like the CNN of, um, of the cryptocurrency world. Now, data and research. For data and research, you want to go here under this drop-down, Bitcoin Calculator. You want to go to the Bitcoin Calculator. Right now, the Bitcoin price is 24.52. 24.52, right? It's going up which is pretty pretty high. Wow, it's amazing. It's going back up there. I love it. All right, so if you want to know how much something costs, one Bitcoin, that's it right there, three Bitcoins. How about if you're going to pay for something, they only accept Bitcoin. They say, okay, I want you to send me 0.25 of Bitcoin. How much is that in dollars? It's $613. Right? So use this Bitcoin calculator to um, find out how much it is in your currency. If you want to switch currencies, all you got to do is switch it here so uh if you know the british pound the euro the australian dollar i mean you can switch it to all of the different currencies of the world and you can see how much it will cost in your particular currency all right so coindesk.com excellent resource how to how bitcoin mining works if you want to learn exactly how bitcoin mining works you do that right here, right? It's pretty, pretty cool. Educate yourself on this. Here's another thing, guys. For those of you who are marketers, who are bloggers, who uh, want to cash in on the, the cryptocurrency space, you can learn about this stuff here and do what I do and start blogging about it. You know, um, put together an article on it. You can put together a little PDF on it. Write a book on this stuff. I mean, it's endless the amount of money you can make right now with cryptocurrencies. You can start a whole entire YouTube channel just talking about cryptocurrencies. So 
If you want to learn about Bitcoin mining or anything, just search for it on Coindesk.com. Another great site is this, CoinMarketCap.com. So CoinMarketCap.com, this site shows you all of the different cryptocurrencies that are out there. And it puts them in order by market cap. So Bitcoin, number one. Uh, Ethereum, I mean, look at the, the circulating supply of Bitcoin right now, right? Look at the volume in the last 24 hours. Is this crazy or what? This is what's happening with Bitcoin. Look at Ethereum. Look what's going on there. The price, 223 right now. Remember, I told you I got in on this at $7. $7 in December. December, 7 bucks. I bought 300 right ethereum that's my long term play right here long term play i'm i'm all in with with ethereum by the way ripple look at that they are another large one third largest by market cap that's the one i told you you can purchase for pennies right now so you got all of these different litecoin another one i'm a firm believer of litecoin look it went up to 2817 i got in on this at $18 then i got in on it again at $24 Look at that, right? So if you owned a hundred, twenty-four dollars, that you made uh, four hundred and seventeen bucks. Not bad. And it was twenty-four dollars a few days ago, by the way. So it's going, it's going up really quick. You got Dash. I also made uh, some good money with Dash. I purchased Dash at ten dollars, and I sold it at ninety-eight. I had one hundred coins of Dash that I purchased for one thousand bucks, and I sold it at ninety-eight hundred dollars. And if I would have held it, um, you know, I would have made another uh, thirty-eight hundred bucks, right? But I didn't. I let it go, right? I'm not emotionally attached to this. I, I'm, I'm a businessman, so I buy and sell when I feel the market is is good, and that's that's what I did. But I scored big time, and a lot of people scored with Dash. So Coin Market Cap, that's that resource right there. And I'm going to wrap it up with this one. This is a blog that I put together just to give you guys some ideas of what's possible. I'm, I'm updating this. I'm going to be putting some more blogs. I have some uh, some writers that are going to come in and, and post some articles as well. So it's called thecryptonights.com. Thecryptonights.com. Take a look around. I want to make sure that I give you good value. I, you know, go ahead and duplicate something like this. Not, don't copy my stuff, but you can set up your own blog absolutely free. Start writing about it. Start setting stuff up. You can put, you know, banners on it. You can do all kind of cool things right now because the space is so new and so many people are hungry for information right now. The demand is so high for cryptocurrency education and knowledge that you will score beyond your wildest dreams. So take a look at that. Um, I put together a blog on how to purchase cryptocurrencies for the very first time. Um, excellent little article. I mean, people like it and they got a lot of good value out of that. Take a look at that. Take a look at some of the other articles I've put out there and and do something like this. Um, if you want to get out there and, and spread the word and, and spread some knowledge, which is pretty cool. So guys, that's it. I've been going for about 48, uh, uh, 48 minutes. And I hope you really enjoyed this this training. I hope uh, you learned a lot from this. Hope you get started here with us when it comes to cryptocurrency. Uh, so right after this is over, you're going to be redirected to that training course that I mentioned. If somebody else referred you to this, get back to them and they will give you access to that. For those of you who have any questions whatsoever, connect with me on Facebook. I want you to know that I am a real person. I just don't hide behind a computer screen. Send me any private messages that you want there, and I'll be able to answer them. If you team up with me, I'm going to make sure that you get access to my private Facebook group. I'm going to make sure that you learn everything that, that I'm doing, and I will give you as much insight as I can because we're all going to win together which is um which is my ultimate goal here so after this is done you'll be redirected and make sure that you set up your bitcoin wallet or your cryptocurrency wallet make sure you set up a polonex trading account and make sure you purchase uh, cryptocurrency you can purchase any denomination you want of fifty dollars hundred dollars two hundred dollars but don't wait don't wait till every Tom, dick and harry is doing it all right. This is what happened with me when I got involved in uh, real estate. I waited till everybody was doing it 
all the Joneses were doing it and, you know, everything came crashing down. It was a big bubble. Right now, this is the beginning. We're in the very beginning of cryptocurrency. People are not in on this. They're saying only about 6% of the world's population know anything about cryptocurrency, even a little. They don't even know a lot. They just know a little, about 6%, right? So you're ahead of the masses here. So take advantage of that. And this is your ticket to freedom. This is your ticket to financial independence. This is your ticket to get your family out of whatever financial situation that you might be in, or if you're not in any financial situation, this is your ticket to have freedom beyond your wildest dreams so that you can have passive income coming in day in and day out. Because right now, the money in the stock market is not growing fast enough. The money in the bank is decreasing in value. And this is the only way to earn 10 times, 20 times, 40 time returns on our money. And it is life changing. All right. So take care, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this webinar. Hope you enjoyed this training. And I will see you on the next training. All right. This is Carlos. Enjoy your weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.